hope you're all well and welcome to this H&M haul. It's been a while since I've done an H&M haul and try on, but I think and hope I'm making up for it with this rail of beautiful, elegant and really effortless clothes. So in this haul, I'm gonna run through this rail, do a little try on and share how to style each piece when you're wanting to inject a bit of effortless style into your own outfits but thanks to H&M at a fraction of the price. I also just want to quickly say a big hello to everyone who's a regular on my channel. Hope you've all had a great week. And to anyone who's new and just stumbled across my channel today, it's nice to meet you. I'm Jess and I post outfit ideas and styling videos every Sunday on YouTube. You can subscribe if you so wish. And at the end of this video, follow the links in the description box below, not only to find all the outfits I'm featuring today, but also to find me on all my other social channels. So without further ado, let's get stuck into this H&M haul and try on for summer 2021. What really struck me when shopping on H&M's website recently was just how many pieces they've got in linen, which is wonderful to see. Not only do I absolutely love that fabric, but it's also really sustainable and very breathable for summer. Now I know there is an awful lot of greenwashing going on at the moment, but what I tend to do to avoid that and cancel out the noise as such is to search via the fabric that I'm looking for. And even once I'm in that section, I always have a good read through the product description and the fabric content just to double check how much linen, for example, is in that item and has any polyester sneaked in there. I'm pleased to report I didn't spot any polyester in this section at all, but it is worth just keeping an eye out. Anyway, on to the first item, which is this lovely 100% linen shirt that I'm wearing. Now the most obvious pull with a shirt like this for me was definitely that color. So that was the first thing I loved about this shirt. Secondly, from previous experience, I know that H&M premium collection shirts have got a really nice fit. They're a little oversized. As you can see, I've got quite a bit of up and over going on there out of my jeans, but nicely so. I definitely wouldn't want it any tighter than it is at the moment. So in terms of styling a shirt like this, I could have gone all out and shown you all different elaborate ways of styling it. But as I do with all of my videos, I wanted my styling to be real life and how you could actually wear this shirt on an everyday basis. And probably how I would style it the most just with one of my favorite pairs of straight leg jeans. Now these jeans are probably three, possibly four years old, but I keep bringing them in and out of my wardrobe on rotation. And at the moment they're definitely in, I'm loving the fit again. It's this kind of blue wash, which I think works perfectly against that gorgeous coral tone. Also, just to quickly mention a few other pieces that caught my eye on H&M's website recently with a similar train of thought to this shirt. I found this one in this really pretty color. I thought that would be lovely throughout summer. Lovely dress with this soft tone and this beautiful top as well, which I thought you could dress up or dress down. I think I've had a bit of a thing for broderie on glaze skirts for a very long time. I found this picture the other day where I think I'm about 20 and this was definitely my favorite outfit that I used to wear at every possible opportunity. So when I spotted this next item on H&M's website, I had to add it into this haul. One beautiful broderie on glaze midi skirt with the added bonus of a paper bag waistband. If you've watched my channel for a while, you will know that I'm not exactly much of a skirt wearer. So it has to be a really, really nice one to get me in it. This one I would say is definitely a winner. I think they've got the cut just right. Now the first thing that struck me with this skirt was that the quality felt really, really good. It's quite heavyweight. There's definitely nothing flimsy or throwaway about it. The second thing I liked was the shape of it. I think having this paper bag waistband actually makes it really flattering. And they've got the cut, the line of the skirt just right. So it's just skimming over your hip bones. So styling wise, as you can see in this footage, I decided to go a little bit more dressed up, but equally something I think I could get away with in the daytime. Because the skirt is quite intricate, there's a lot of detail going on there, I wanted to keep my top half really, really basic and simple. Clean lines, nothing too extravagant, so you can really let the skirt be the star of the show and also have a nice balance between the two. Now that's just one way to style a skirt like this, and I think it would actually be far more versatile than you might first think. But I really wanted to share that you shouldn't underestimate a skirt like this, because I think they can equally work for smarter occasions just as well as they do for the daytime. On the flip side, I went very daytime chic with this next item, 
but I equally think you could easily dress this one up as well. So this next item is quite a traditional, very classy, elegant and chic shirt dress always love having a shirt dress even my capsule wardrobe for summer because they're the sort of thing you tend to throw on all the time this one has been made from a linen blend and generally what i've noticed on h&m's website is when they say linen blend i think it's 45 percent cotton and 55 percent linen or perhaps the other way around but essentially you've got a good lot of linen in there the texture of the fabric is lovely it's not too light but not too heavy either you've got long sleeves if you wanted them but i would personally probably always style it with those rolled over a few times You've got a seam at the waistband and that's where they've put the tie belt which I've just tied in a knot rather than doing anything too extravagant with the bow. And then it is a typical midi length with these two splits at either side. Now just for reference I'm usually a UK 10 and I've gone for this dress in a size small. I really dislike anything too tight on me so I would say this is the perfect kind of fit. You've got a bit of room across the chest, the sleeves don't feel like they're too tight across your arms which would be awful in the heat and there's definitely enough room across the hips. So as I mentioned, I kept it very effortless, everyday chic in my styling, just adding my tan bucket bag that I got from Cezanne and my flat sandals, which I have to admit, I still haven't thrown out yet. I know they look a little bit warm, but they're my favorite pair of sandals. So although they did make it into the rubbish bag, I rescued them and got them back out again. A few other dresses I found recently on H&M's website, which I think are definitely worth a mention, would be this one. I love this long one, a really elegant midi length, and this one that I found in the premium collection. Next up, I went for what looks like on first glance, a very basic jersey dress. I really see the beauty in very simple pieces like this especially when they're made from lovely cottons like this organic modal. So obviously this is the sort of thing I would throw on top of my bikini at the beach. But I really wanted to share how you could style up a very simple outfit like this into so much more. So here you can see I really cinched in my waist with the knotted tan leather belt. And then I wanted to glam it up a little bit but in a really subtle laid back kind of fashion. So I went with my gold sandals on my feet and then added my gold chain handbag. I've tied my hair back quite tight so it feels really sleek and you've got the line of your neck and your shoulders showing. I find that really helps to make an outfit look more elegant. And I added just a sprinkle of jewellery to tie in with that gold. Hopefully you'll agree I've managed to elevate a very simple piece but still retaining that super minimal and elegant vibe. I personally really like H&M's cottons along with their linens. And when searching on their website, I tend to start with the premium selection, I go on to the conscious selection, and I also search via the fabric I'm looking for. That seems to bring up the best pieces that really suit my style. And heading back to that linen section, I got myself a lovely new pair of PJs. Again, these have been made from H&M's linen and cotton blend, so roughly 50-50. And I've tried them out, I've worn them a few times already, and they feel lovely against my skin. I actually sized up to a medium, which I don't think I would advise, to be honest. They probably look a little bit too big on me, but I just wanted something very loose and it can get ever so hot in the hospital. Uh, hence why I went for a medium, but they do look a bit big, so I would say go with your usual size if you equally like their linen pyjamas. Another beautiful tone dress, definitely fitting the bill for the sorbet trend this season, would be this pretty little number that I got in turquoise. Now for my modesty on YouTube, I have added a little slip dress underneath to be able to show you this dress. It's a tiny bit see-through. Definitely not a problem if it's a throw-on for holidays and around the pool, and which is probably what I'm going to use it for. But if you wanted to wear it out and about, which I think I do actually, because I just love that color, I would probably always wear a slip under it. You've got a lovely deep V across the chest here, a drop seam and then that frill gather around the skirt portion, and then a little bit of gathering at the back and those lovely raglan three-quarter length sleeves. It's quite a lightweight fabric, it's certainly not as heavy as some of those linens, hence why it's a tiny bit see-through, but I think it's just the perfect little dress for summer holidays or perhaps as a throw on at the beach. Having a look at what's new in this week on H&M's website, I found this beautiful beach dress. Really, you kind of want to be barefoot and with a straw bag with that one. And I also found this midi length one as well, which I thought would be a nice addition to my wardrobe. 
I do normally like to save the best until last in my YouTube videos, but sadly in this one, I've saved the worst till last, as this outfit is really not working for me. Now I had high hopes for this co-ord set. The pictures on the website looked lovely, the model looked very carefree and beachy, and I thought it was something a little bit different. And it is something a little bit different, but not in a good way. I'll talk about the benefits first. Let's be positive, Jessica. So a little short set with a bowler style shirt, I thought for summer would be lovely. They're made from linen and I thought that natural, minimal tone would really fit nicely into my wardrobe. The problem is that they've made the top portion and the bottom out of different fabrics. So they don't particularly look like a co-ord when you wear them. And they don't feel like it either. The top portion feels about twice the thickness of the shorts. I do like crop tops on other people and I thought I might get away with this one because it was an oversized shape, it's quite boxy, but in reality I don't like the style on me. And then the shorts portion has got quite a thick elasticated waistband. So if you wear it quite high up here, I felt like it made you look more hippie than you are. If you wore it low, it looked like they were too long. So I couldn't make that work particularly well either. So as you can see in this footage, I gave it a good go. I styled it up with some of my tan details, wearing my gladiator sandals on my feet, and then I just added the smaller camel bag that I got from Palem Paris. Now, although this particular co-ord set didn't work for me, I've recently found this lovely set, which I think is probably much more my cup of tea. I tried to step out of my comfort zone with this one and it didn't work, but I think this one is probably much more my real personal style. I really hope you've enjoyed this very chatty H&M haul and try on, and it's given you lots of outfit ideas of what's new in store for this summer 2021. And if you're not already subscribed, I would be very grateful if you'd like to do so. Thank you again, everyone, and hopefully you'll join me back here next Sunday with lots more outfit ideas. Take care.